Welcome back to our 10th anniversary special. <clears throat> we work very hard on homes. People work hard all around the country, I know, but we work hard too. And people often say, well, how do you, how do you put the program together? Do you, do, you, do you put it together each day? Do you start fresh? How do you do it? Well, it is a mix of advanced planning. This program, for example, took weeks of uh, putting together. Um, you can't tell, I know, from the way I'm doing it tonight, but uh, <laughs> it took weeks of effort by a lot of people. But as well as the planning, you've also got to have the flexibility on the day. And it's not an unusual, and this is stressful because you've got to make so many decisions. And it's not an unusual thing to change the program that you've got planned completely. And at the last minute, just before you go to air, throw the whole lot out as a story develops. And so uh, one day's like that, and they're not that unusual. We work frantically right up to those were our people today. But it is a long day for all of us, and a long day for me. I've hosted the News Talk ZB Breakfast since March of 1987, and done the two programs at Extreme End of the Day for 10 years. And this is um, uh, this particular day we'll show you about. This particular, I have to say, was one of the quiet days. You know, the sod's law, isn't it? Murphy's Law, I beg your pardon, early evening programming. But um, this was quite an easy day in comparison to many, but as always, it starts early. Mm. People want a cup of tea? Yeah, that's good. So now, a little toast and veggie, mate. Five past four. Mm. Some people have a big bacon eggs breakfast, uh, which in itself is not a shocking revelation. Some people have dried seaweed breakfast, but they live in Japan, of course. Mm. Um, have your tea, Peter, and I'll go and get in the shower. There you go, see, now what a difference a few minutes can make. Over here, my mountain bike. I bought it about six months ago. I've ridden it twice. <laughs> so we get on the motorway towards the bridge, travelling very slowly, you see, so that even older cars pass me. And swing around further to the left, and there you see what I think is the reward, actually, of working this time of the morning. The tide's out at the moment, but there across there is Auckland, and it can be the most beautiful sight. You're now in the inner sanctum of News Talk ZB. Morning. And so now we read into the day. Now we read the newspaper first. Then we will go and check the wire services. Then we start writing some stuff, see? And then we unlock the door of the office, you see? And we're underway. <coughs> Here we are. Wind up. Well, now, it's uh, 14 minutes past six. Good morning. Now, and it's a very squeaky sport, too. I mean, I think that's one of the major criticisms that can be made of basketball and netball. Yes. And it's very, very irritating for the viewers. Yeah. Makes you go straight to the video shop. So the radio program's after. Now we're getting ready for the TV program. So this is a very special space because this part of the newsroom is the Holmes office. This is the Holmes office. And you could meet some of the personalities here, some of our reporters, some of our journalists, some of the fine, talented people we have on the program. Lisa Manning, of course. Good morning, Lisa. Over here is Mr. Tony Veach, former sports star, hot, trained in Australia, hot. Over here, we have Mike McRoberts. And here is Miranda Grace, soon to leave us, gone. And this is Rosalind Shaw. Rosalind gets the program out every day. Rosalind's in charge of bringing the whole program together at night. The fearsome executive producer, Hunter Wells, who for some reason has taken a sitting on his armchair in a corner to contemplate the morning. To read the paper, taking the day, catch up with things. Yeah, that's right. Because you don't get it on the radio anymore, that's the problem. And that's the staff, and very shortly we'll be commencing our meeting. Hey there, Wellington. Yeah. Lovely, and you're there at Christchurch. Yep. We have Union. Would you like to tell us what's happening in Christchurch? <laughs> the trouble with this one is it's region specific. So um, that is it. Well, that's the morning meeting. Our work here is done. Our work here is done. I'm can I depart now? Yeah, 
the afternoon rev up just to wind up the tension. As soon as I gambled with myself about which side lift was going to come, I gambled only 50 cents with myself, if you'd be pleased to know. I certainly don't risk big money with myself. I say 50 cents is going to be that side, and then I never pay me. They put on the white bits under the eyes to cover up the toll of the day. But I, I actually think it's second. I don't think you should be plonking it down the bottom. The argument that's, get, yeah, the argument that's going on on Kevin's not in the middle ground either. Completely foreign. Over years, they might have been the most scared Both in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Good night, ladies. Two minutes. I work out quite a few questions, but I might never get to use them because they may take the debate over, which is good, and I'll just intervene from time to time and guide it. I mean, that's a perfect way it'll happen, but it may not happen like that. You never know. Every campus in the country <clears throat> is up in arms over this issue at the moment, and tonight they're going to be debating it live on the program. Well, I try not to take a partisan view at all, but I will take a devil's advocate view. And if I feel a person is somehow not as skilled in the, in the craft of debate as the other party is, I may come to the aid of the person who is not faring so well in the debate. So I will appear to be supporting that person a bit more. Those were our people today. That's Holmes tonight. Our people um, identifies the program as being part of the New Zealand community. It says, before the program is about anything else, it's about people. It says we're part of you, is what I meant by it. And then it's home, you see, to the wild parties. Now, any further questions? Oh, we've got a question from...